What's up guys, it's Cody with 3 and Technology. For this video, I'm going, to go on, I'm going to be going over some of the recycling things you can do with waste filament or waste plastic that you've used. So, this is kind of like a state of the union where recycling waste prints and filament set is that. So obviously you can throw them away, but most people are environmentally conscious now or try to be so they want to either recycle the prints or film it or make sure they know it's going to a place that will do it for them or will be reused into some sort of other product so right now there's not really any major industry radio that's accepting waste filament right now there's a few small options you can do, but it's nothing really major like, like for example, GDS or Republic from the garbage disposal readers. Right now, it's just a few small options you can do or home-based alternatives, which I'll try to explain in this video. Also, a previous video that I've done on this channel is plastic bars to filament. The first episode's got a lot of views on it already and there's a second video in progress. Just gotta figure out how we're going to take the direction of this series further. But this is just kind of like a state of the union for 2020 of voice filament. Like a standalone video. So a few things that I've come across that you can do with the race filament. One, you can always throw away, but it's not that great for the environment. Some filament you can throw away, like PLA, that is safe to... It's a type of filament that compost, composts, and you don't have to recycle it, so that filament's safe. Or if you want to reuse, reuse that filament later, you could. Some of the other filament, I'm not sure if you can throw those away or not. But I know PLA is compostable. Another one is if you know any recyclers or plastic manufacturer type people in the industry that's willing to accept the waste filament, you can give it to them or work out some kind of deal that way. With that option, most recyclers want the filament to be clean and separated into its own plastic type. Like, you'll have one bag full of PLA waste, one bag of TPU, another one of ABS. Have it individually separated, so now it's mixed together. There's also services that you can donate the waste filament to. Again, these are smaller niche services, it's not really caught, caught on yet. One example is TerraCycle or Recycle 3D, I think. But with that, you gotta pay a certain amount of money to ship your filament back. Plus, I guess, a processing fee. And sometimes those aren't really ex Sometimes those aren't really cheap. And it's kind of not the ideal solution to this problem, I, at least in my opinion. So we can see some of their plastic recycling programs. And then here's the zero waste boxes for the three printer filament. So we got eighty-five dollars for a small box and up to two fifty for a large box. So not very feasible for most people. Another more common approach to tackle this issue is to reuse the rice filament. I've found there's two different types so far. You can buy a home based extruder system like the one when we have the fill extruder. There's uh, several of those out now, home based filament extruder systems. 
and you can make the filament back into pellet size pieces and you can put it back through the filament extruder machine and it will turn it back into reusable filament. One downside is that the recycled filament isn't as strong as manufactured filament because it's already been used once. One way to make this work is to incorporate more virgin plastic material into it, like 75% recycled, 25% new plastic pellets. But if you're going for a desktop figurine type 3 prints, it shouldn't be an issue. This is really only, really only an issue with 3 prints that will have force applied to them or they need some sort of structural integrity like an uh, RC airplane part or something. Another way to reuse the recycled filament waste is to use some sort of extruder machine. Not a filament extruder, but sort of like a plastic injection molding type stuff. Maybe make drink coasters out of it or cell phone cases or some sort of injectable molded 3D item. It's made of plastic. So to wrap this video up, these are just a few of the solutions that I've found online or that I've come across in person. And a ideal solution would be that the manufacturers that make the plastic filament somehow make it where you can just dump the filament into a single stream or saccharine or at your local convenience set. That's so that it's easy, easier to recycle. Or a second ideal solution would be to have the filament manufacturers like Hatchbox, Greengate, Eastern accept returnable filament waste and they can already incorporate it back into their filament lines. Or maybe we get a who knew filament manufacturer that just does recycled filament and it's just as strong. I have seen one company, an European company, trying to produce recycled pet filament. I haven't had too much experience with this one but I'll show you what it looks like. And the one print I did get out of it for my three prints we went down for maintenance. Still need to do more testing with this. If you like to be on today's videos first, make sure to click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.